apologise for some crackly audio in the commentary on this one. My mic is broken. I'm getting a new one delivered tomorrow, so do not worry. For all your ultimate team coin needs, check out utcoinsforyou.com. There will be a link in the description, and if you use the code CHEZ, you can get yourself a 5% discount. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again with episode number 17 of the interactive Road to Division 1. This is of course the series where you guys, the subscribers, pick the teams that we play with heading through the ranked divisions looking for that Division 1 title. And we're looking for a Division 5 title today. We've been really racing through the past couple of divisions. Back to back to back to back to back to back to back wins. And we're hoping to continue that with, uh, with Shakhtar today. Of course... Uh, during this week we are having a vote and a poll as to uh, the next career mode team so there is a link in the description to the straw poll and the uh, and the website to uh, to go and have your uh, have your vote as i record this on monday afternoon we're currently almost at 750 votes and there is a uh, present a clear winner so far so if uh, you haven't voted as of yet do feel free to do so the vote will end friday evening so there's still time to get your vote in but anyway as you can see we brought it back to 1-1 after going early 1-0 down to uh, to a lo lovely goal from uh, radamel falcao but we did actually use uh, monaco not too recently and uh, i absolutely hated them but they actually went 2-1 up here just before the 20th minute with another header from radamel falcao as you might expect he was the uh, the main source for their goals but uh, this suggestion comes in from say Udin, Julie Wilkes, Mr. FIFA 14, Cronculus, Callum Whitelock, Mark Hendricks, Toxic Flash, and our good old friend NTBSVRFD. So uh, thank you very much to you guys for uh, for the suggestion. Of course, as you can see, we've gone to, brought it back to 2-2 here late in the uh, in the second half. And weirdly, he decided to rage quit just a couple of minutes later. I'm not sure whether it was a was a dropout or not, but. It was eventually going to end up to give us the victory, despite it only being 2-2. So you would presume that it was a rage quit, or, or, unless it, maybe he just had to go out or something. But as you can see from the stats, we were clearly dominating. And I was, I have to be honest, I was confident of being able to pick up the win in the final 15 minutes regardless. But nonetheless, we did pick up a win, and that's the Division 5 title. 21.7 wins, two defeats from uh, from the Division 6 or Division 5 rather season and it's time to start in Division 4 we're getting very close now to that Division 1 and uh, hopefully to uh, the title there which will of course round out the series but the first team to use in Division 4 is Zenit St. Petersburg this suggestion comes in from Toxic Flash Mr. FIFA 14 Akame Madafra Ghosty Gaming and Fergus Campbell so thank you very much to you guys for the suggestion of the Russian side now of course you're coming up against Everton a team that we've played as and against uh, in not so recent or in recent times rather and we actually got off to a fantastic start a lovely long distance shot from Shirakov there to give us a 1-0 lead after just three minutes really tidy accurate finish across the goalkeeper into that far bottom corner we will see a replay of it because it was a wonderful strike a lot of power behind it it kind of swerved away from the goalkeeper and then bent back in just to make sure that uh, it didn't go outside the post. Really tidy finish and I was very, very pleased with that. We almost were able to get ourselves a 2-0 lead here. It's going to be rather sloppy with the possession. Drops to Timoshuk. It's going to find our Sharvin on the inside and it's only a good save from Tim Howard that's able to keep me out. And uh, Tim Howard is always a goalkeeper that seems to uh, perform against me time and time again. But fortunately, it was my goalkeeper on hand this time to make a decent save and keep him out and uh, maintain that 1-0 lead. But it's Tim Howard and Tim Howard and Tim Krull were the two keepers that I seem to struggle against. Maybe it's just something against uh, Tim's. I'm not too sure. But he's going to catch me on the counter-attack just before half-time. It's a really nice shot from uh, Romelu Lukaku. Kind of similar to our goal. Same sort of distance. A little bit less powerful, but still just as accurate. And uh, a very nice finish into the bottom corner. And we won 1-1, pushing into the second half. Danny's going to get a great chance here. And Tim Howard is going to again going to again make a great save down, save down to his right-hand side to uh, to keep me out. I wanted to win from this one. I definitely wanted to win. I want to get off to. Uh, it's always nice to start a new division on the front foot with three points. Otherwise, you kind of feel like you're just chasing the uh, chasing the season the entire time if you don't get off to a flying start. And we were trying with Hulk here just to work something. Unfortunately, the uh, the first shot was kind of scuffed. It was really really poor. But he does well to uh, to maintain possession. Find Dan Saudi whips the ball in. Danny's going to knock it down to Shirikov. He's going to try and have a similar shot to his first one, and just past the outside post this time, rather than curling it just. In inside as he did with the shot in the uh, in the early stages but we're getting him on the counter attack again it's and Saudi with his pace down the left down the right hand side rather into our shove it. lovely fake shot inside the defender as Sylvan Distan dives in mistake from the defense and our shove makes them pay it's a lovely shot into the far bottom corner all goals all three goals so far were kind of very very similar in uh, in finish but you'll see from the replay it's a lovely kind of fake shot 
glide inside here from Arsavin. Just there. That's really, really tidy. Just sells the defender absolutely beautifully. And uh, we are going to take the three points from this one. So we do get off to a 100% start in Division 4, which is very, very pleasing indeed. Now, uh, unfortunately, the third option I was going to go for in this episode was India, due to uh, it being the third most popular option. But I just couldn't find a game. Uh, there was no opponent found, as you can see. So I will use India in the next episode if I possibly can. I, I do apologise to those of you that did vote for India. So we're only looking for two suggestions for uh, for next Saturday's uh, video but the third or the fourth rather most popular suggestion was the Brazilian national side so we're still going in with the national side this suggestion comes in from Liam's fix Liam Fitzpatrick NTS VR VRFD I still, I still don't understand that username. Uh, Temper Plays and Logan Devine. Now, of course, we're using a five-star team. So who have we come up against like ten times already? Using five-star teams, Real Madrid. And you'll be able to tell from the title, AIDS absolute age but it's not until a little bit later on as you can see Cristiano Ronaldo puts him 1-0 up early on lovely uh, really nice finish powered it finish into the back of the net nothing the goalkeeper could do about that then he's going to make a mistake Pepe gives away possession Fernandinho does really really well to snatch it off him into Neymar nice first time control with the Cruyff turn and buries it into the back of the net so we weren't behind for long just 4 minutes and uh, we're back on level terms at 1-1 and we were in fact going to get ourselves caught on the counter-attack. Cristiano Ronaldo is going to break away. I tried to step there with Thiago Silva in case he played the through ball to try and catch Benzema offside. I couldn't, and oh, I was so annoyed. You're one-on-one -on -one with Cristiano Ronaldo, one of the best players in the world, and he still tramped it. I was fuming when that went in, but unfortunately, we went in at half-time 2-1 down. So we've got it all to do yet again. Got to get ourselves back on level terms. That's exactly what we were going to do. And it didn't take long into the second half before we were going to be able to do it. Oscar, lovely ball over the top. Fernandinho with a strike. That save from Ike Casillas was one of the best I've ever seen on FIFA. We'll see a slow-mo replay of it now. That is phenomenal. Honestly, absolutely insane save from Ike Casillas. But nonetheless, we're going to get the corner. We're going to whip it in. It's actually going to be Dani Alves to uh, to whip the corner in. It stands it up towards the, uh, the penalty spot. Up goes Thiago Silva. And this time, we're able to get ourselves back on level terms. Ike Casillas, even with the world-class saves that he's pulling off isn't able to keep us out for a second time so we made some changes trying to freshen things up bringing on Hulk who did well for us in the previous game as Zenit and Hernanes as well but literally straight after I, uh, I made these changes he was going to have another chance he's got a corner as, as you can see it's literally straight away the corner comes in he's going to hit the bar the back of the play